Hey YouTube, uh, I'm back with another review. This time it's gonna be on the Caracorder Lite. Uh, but first I just have to mention um, that since posting my original Caracorder review video and posting more content, the Caracorder team has asked me to uh, be an affiliate of theirs. Um, <clears throat> so you can see a link below in the description. If you decide you would like to purchase a Caracorder um, device, you can use that code Johnny St. Germain at checkout, you get 20% off. Um, and also, um, for the purposes of this video, um, I was a beta tester of the Caracorder Lite, and so I did not have to pay for the device, but the review is my honest review. Um, Riley and the team have not asked me to make this. This is just me giving you my own feedback um, on using the device uh, as I've been using it um, constantly since I got it. Um, so yeah, let's uh, let's step right into it. Um, so let me pull up this camera. So um, what you get in the box is a Caracorder carrying case. Um, and when you open it up, there is a um, little card entry that gives you some information about the device, how to use it, what fluid and corded and character entry is, etc. So that's pretty nice. Um, you also get this little card. Um, Caracorder Lite was a Kickstarter product, and so this talks a little bit about that um, and some of the goals of Riley and the team. Um, and then, of course, you've got the keyboard itself. Um, now, mine looks a little differently because I've switched out some of the keys um, here. Um, you will see. Um, I'll, I'll talk a little bit about that. Um, and then also you'll notice that this these two keys may not look like the um, the picture on the website. I've got these swapped um, to match more normal keyboards. Um, but anyway, so take this out of here, move this case. The case is really nice, by the way. Um, I use this for both my Caracorder Lite and my Caracorder One. It happens to fit both of them pretty well. Um, but you know, so this is what the device looks like. It looks like a pretty standard um, you know, hot swappable mechanical keyboard. Um, I've added some uh, feet on the back for elevating it. Although I, I will say I don't, I, I use that at first, uh, but I don't use that a whole lot now. Um, and, you know, all the keys feel pretty good. They have these pudding cap um, keyboard uh, key caps um, and they light up with colors once we plug it in. Um, I've switched out a few of them. Um, it's really easy to switch them out. If you've just got um, one of the keycap pullers, which I can't seem to find mine, um, but that's okay. So if you have a keycap puller, this is an example of one, but I have another one that I prefer to use. Uh, it's really easy to pull them out. Um, the switches themselves are Gatoron. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Gatoron clears. Um, they're 35 grams of actuation force, so they're really light compared to some other mechanical keys. It's really easy to press these and get it to register, and the reason for that is the cording, uh, which we'll talk about. So let me go ahead and plug this guy in. It's just USB-C right here. I will say compared to the Caracorder one, it's much easier to plug this guy in. So let's plug that in. We see the startup animation. Um, and then I've got mine set to blue right now. Um, now for the device itself, um, when I first got it, the biggest things that were a problem for me that I had to get used to was the really light keys. Uh, but now I actually love it. So, you know, it's not really so much a problem. And then the, the big one was that the Windows key and the control key were swap positions. So the Windows key was here, the control was here. Um, and for the longest time, um, there was no key right, no way to remap this, but they've actually added that feature into the um, the generative text menu, the GTM. So you can actually swap these. So I physically just swatch, swap the keycaps. You'll see that as a result of that, um, this key, which is wider, I think this one is 1U and this is 1.25U or maybe 1.75 or 1.5, I don't remember. Um, it doesn't line up, so you get this weirdness. But, you know, honestly, it doesn't bother me at all. The other thing that is um, <clears throat> a little hard to get used to is this shift key is smaller than keyboards that I'm used to. Um, so that took me a lot um, because 
Uh, I use this one often for all of these um, punctuation marks here, and I was missing this, and I would press the up arrow instead. Um, other than that, um, you know, it's it gives you access to everything on a normal keyboard. It performs just like a normal keyboard. Um, of course, it being a care recorder, it has corded text entry. Um, so, uh, you know, that is what would have you be drawn to this device over a sort of another mechanical keyboard. Um, let me open up a screen where we can show some typing what I mean when I say corded text entry. So let's see, does this show? Okay, so I've got this here. I've got a notepad window, right? So I can type important um, or I can press IMP at the same time and then release them at the same time and then it puts the entire word. So if you're here at this video, you probably already know this. You've probably heard this from or have seen it, but this is what we mean by cording. So you can type multiple letters at a time and get multiple, uh, you know, get entire words out at a time. Um, this is really easy to do. Um, learning how to use the Caracorder light uh, is super, super easy. So the very first day that I got it, I was able to go on monkey type and start typing with it without learning any chords, of course. And just by having the, um, the, uh, the, the lighter switches, I was able to get much faster speeds than I was normally used to. Uh, but then over time, within the first 24 hours, I started to learn some chords for some longer words, uh, which we can talk about chording theory, um, maybe in another video. But for me, I knew that I was already a very fast typist. You can see some of my other videos about that, but I just wanted to improve my speed. And so I was looking for the biggest bang for bucks. So that was longer words and then cording them with shorter characters um, to type them fast. So, um, you know, I, so I started to set some of those up. And within the first day, I had already broken my first record on uh, monkey type 10 words, which I think was at the time 198 words per minute. And I maybe broke it to like 205 or something like that. Well, fast forward, um, you know, a month or so. And I think that it was about a month. I don't remember the exact times. Um, I was able to break that record. Uh, and I actually got to the, the company's mission goal, which is 250 words per minute. Um, so this is what my current monkey type pro profile looks like with, the, with this device. All of these records have been with my Caracorder Lite. Um, so you can see for my 10 seconds, it's 252 words per minute. 216, 178, 163, and then 15 is 186, and then my 60 seconds is at 162. This previously, before the Caracorder Light, was around 130 to 135, maybe 140, I don't recall exactly. Um, but you can see that I was able to increase my speed, and overall, I've not learned that many new chords. I, I'm still really only um, chording some of the longer words. Um, I've also set up some chords for, um, you know, like particular URLs that I go to often for work, those kinds of things. Um, cording is really great as sort of like shortcuts for long pieces of text um, that you want to type often. Um, my personal cording theory um, is that, again, I want to cord long pieces of text and then uh, keep just, you know, normal character entry for the rest. Um, so... You know, that's uh that that's kind of my my main um talking points on the device. Uh the Caracorder Lite itself compared to the Caracorder one is much easier to adapt to. Okay. So the Caracorder one requires a lot of practice. Um I've had mine since October of last year. Um I'm still not up to my QWERTY speeds. Now, granted, my QWERTY speeds to start were very fast. So for some users, if you're a lower speed typist, I think the Caracorder 1, you would get a return on your investment much faster. But for anyone that's really fast, um, if you just want to get a little bit of a speed increase, you can get the Caracorder Lite. Um, I've been posting a lot of videos on my TikTok about Caracorder Lite. I haven't made much YouTube on it because, again, it's, it's, um, it's, it's kind of just like a normal keyboard um, that is super intelligent, right, with this cording. 
Um, and so I don't know really what kind of content might be interesting. So if you have anything you're interested about the device, like, you know, how it works or, or something about it, let me know. Um, I'll probably try to put some, um, you know, some like typing clips, maybe of my 250, uh, two words per minute, uh, TikTok clip. I'll try to overlay lay that onto this video so that you can see it. Um, just like the Caracorder, uh, uh, Caracorder one, um, there is a generative text menu. Um, so the way that it works on here is instead of cording both alts, like on the Caracorder one, you just cord, um, this alt G, I guess I didn't talk about this and I, I probably should, I'm kind of glossing over a lot of stuff here, but the space bar is not just one giant space bar. You've got these two buttons in between here. Um, and if you look at the let's get started um, reference, which I don't know if I can get it to focus, um, these are modifiers. So you've got um, the past tense, the present, I never remember what these got, the present participle, the duplicate, and the plural and then the comparative. So if you chord those along with words, you can add modifiers to the end of them. Um, but the main thing is that this middle key works as a duplicate, but then also that's how you access the generative. So this GTM menu, you access with G plus mid alt. And I can definitely show on the screen a better picture of that. Um, but you do that, that's where you can change all of your settings. Um, there's different modes, character entry mode only there's settings. So the settings are your press and release tolerance. So just like the character one, you know, the amount of time, whenever you press and release, you know, if I press it a little bit like that, it doesn't work. Um, so you can configure all the settings inside of here. Um, I currently am operating with a 2518. You can toggle your key map on this. Um, you can change from uh, QWERTY, Colmac, Dvorak. This control, that is what lets me swap these two here. Um, and then of course, all of these, um, the, the color and the brightness of the LEDs, um, you can change that between some different colors here. Um, and, uh, yeah, you can kind of configure that to your liking. Um, I typically just stay on blue. And uh, what else? Um, yeah, I mean, overall the device, it's been a pleasure to use it because like I said, you, you almost immediately get a return on your investment. Um, within the first day, I was already breaking new high scores for my speed. It's not just about that, you know, cording feels really natural. And it feels like a lot less effort than normal QWERTY. Um, now, granted, when you're when you're QWERTYing very fast, it still feels like a lot of movement for your hands. So I think the Caracorder One is going to win out in terms of ergonomics um, and overall higher skill ceiling for typing um, because there's a lot less movement um, with your hands. Um, but I do think for you to just get an introduction into QWERTYing and how it works, um, you can't really beat the Caracorder Light. Um, I think, uh, you know, it's, it's really easy to learn. Um, everything that, uh, is in the community, there's a wiki and all that to learn about how to use it for some of the special functions. But really, even if you don't do use any of that, you just get the device. Um, and then you start using some of the built-in cords. Um, you can get a lot of value at it. Now, if you're a really fast typist, I do recommend cleaning up some of the beginner cords because some of them are very common, um, bigrams. Um, and trigrams. I deleted some of those. You can do that through the core manager. I have a video on that. Um, but yeah, so overall, my review is very positive for the Caracorder Lite. Um, if you have any questions, any particular features of the Caracorder Lite or, or something you would want me to, um, to talk about or to review about it, uh, let me know. Um, and yeah, remember, if you'd like to buy one, you can get 20% off with my code. Don't feel pressured. Um, I'm just offering that to you because I think it, you know, it makes it more accessible to all of you. Um, so I'm, I'm happy to be a part of that because I love um, the product and I'm going to be sticking around with it for a long time. So anyway, hope you enjoyed. Uh, let me know in the comments what you'd like to see more of. Thanks.